Hello friends, you are tuned into the official YouTube channel of Ashika Financial Planners. I am Sandeep and uh, I regularly upload videos on personal financial planning and uh, in today's uh, video I am going to be talking about personal loans and why personal loans are not necessarily a loan that you take when you are in dire need but also can be used an, as an investment instrument. Before we head into uh, the uh, topic, I would request you to subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the bell icon so that you would be intimated every single time I upload a new video. Right, personal loans uh, are given to you based on your credit history, based on your uh, earning, based on the company that you work in and based on your financial transactions basically. So uh, I'm going to once again uh, give you an example. Uh, let's have a look at this. This person uh, has a pre-approved loan. Uh, I'm going to be talking about uh, this particular pre-approved loan of HDFC Bank uh, towards the later stages of this video. Uh, let's have a look at the offer. Uh, the offer says 7,50,000 rupees at an interest rate of 11.99%. Now, uh, is that a good interest rate? Many would feel that 11.99 is a little higher, much higher than what we would earn. Uh, but let's get into the calculations right away. Okay, so I'm taking three tenures here and uh, I've put 7,50,000 as a loan amount. The rate of interest is 11.99. And let's see what's the total interest you would be paying for three years let's go to this website and enter the amounts seven like fifty thousand for uh, at, at 11.99 percent for three years and how much is that it is one lakh forty six six fifty seven one forty six six fifty seven very quickly let me calculate how much uh, you would be paying for a four-year tenure it's it's going to be 197,841 for four years. 197,841, and for five years, it will be. Let me quickly get that for you. Two lakh fifty thousand seven seven three. Two fifty seven seven three. Okay, what's the yearly interest that you're going to be paying? It's again very simple. This amount divided by the number of years three years so that is 48886 and uh, similarly here it would be this amount 197841 divided by four years which is 49460 and here you would be paying 25773 divided by the number of years which is five and you would be paying 50,155 per year. What is the average interest percentage per year? Let's have a look at that. So this is the interest per year divided by the loan amount, which is 750,000 into 100. 6.52 is the lower percentage per year. Can you, can you see this? 11.99 is what you're told but you're actually paying 6.52. Once again, it's because the loan is based on the reducing balance method. And let's see what the percentages you're going to pay for the two other tenures. And uh, as the tenure increases, the interest per year that you're paying, the percentage of interest is increasing slightly to 6.59. And then if you choose a five-year tenure, it's going up to 6.69. So then you may be wondering again, you know, uh, in my previous video, I told you that banks do pay about uh, 7%. Uh, I uh, would be happy to recommend Bajaj Finance fixed deposits. Bajaj Finance deposits are rated AAA, uh, MAAA, that is uh, medium term uh, instruments, AAA, which is the, uh, which is a very good rating. And uh, the company itself, if you can look at go to google and look at the financials and the reputation you're sure um, i'm sure you would be uh, reading a lot of positives about the company so what i'm going to do is uh, tell you how much uh, bajaj finance is offering they offer 7.7 percent if you go for a three-year fixed uh, deposit 
7.8% uh, if it's for four years and 7.8 for five years as well. And uh, let's see how much interest you would earn if it's 7.7%. Okay, so uh, quickly getting back here, you must have been wondering why I have mentioned 7,46,250 because uh, there is a processing fee that the banks take. Uh, see, this is the uh, processing fee, 3,750. So when the amount is credited to your account, they would deduct this amount from the 7.5 lakh and uh, transfer the balance, which is 746,250. 7.7% for three years. Let's see how much interest you earn. Uh, what's the amount? 746,250. 746,250. Rate of interest per year is 7.7. 7, uh, three years. And the compounding in this case is yearly. Uh, the 7.7% 7 .7 that they have mentioned is uh, for interest paid once a year. Uh, so let's calculate how much interest you would be earning. The interest you would earn is 185,997. Okay, 185,997. That is for three years. Now, uh, if you ask me, is it better to go for a three-year tenure for the home, for the personal loan, or if it's better for four years or five years? Let's have a look at that as well. You know, uh, what do you say here? Yeah, for four years it is seven point eight percent. The tenure is four years, and let's calculate. The interest that you'd be earning 261515 is the interest that you'd be earning 261515 whereas the interest you're paying is 197841 let's again go for uh, a five-year tenure now let's change it to five and calculate you pay you earn three lakh forty thousand one hundred and twenty three lakh forty thousand one twenty so uh, let's see which of these tenors uh, will be more beneficial for you. The first one, let's take this amount that is the total interest earned minus the total interest paid. That's about a gain of 39,340. In the second case, the total interest paid minus the total, uh, sorry, the total interest earned minus the total interest paid comes to about 63,674. And in the third case, uh, interest earned minus interest paid is 89,347. So what do you observe here? The longer the tenor, the net benefit for you is better. So if you have an offer in your bank for a personal loan and you don't really need the funds, you could still earn some extra money by investing it elsewhere. And I've just given you an example of Bajaj Finance. You could invest uh, anywhere, you could invest, uh, in, in, I, I would recommend you invest in uh, fixed return uh, in products because the golden rule is never borrow to invest in equities. Uh, if there is a major crash that's going to happen, I'm sure th there has been already a 30%, 34% drop in the Sensex in the last couple of months and it could go down further. So I wouldn't recommend you taking a personal loan just to invest in equities. Uh, if you have an offer like this at 11.99% or maybe even 10.99% and an offer without too much of a hassle, then you might wanna take that and invest here to earn some extra additional uh, money through a fixed deposit. Now, of course, fixed deposits are taxable. So uh, you may be wondering, uh, what's the benefit if I pay uh, taxes on the interest that I earn? Well, uh, you would still be uh, having a benefit if you remove your taxes from the total interest earned. Even if you uh, reduce 30% of 1,85,000, uh, you'd be uh, reducing only about 50,000 rupees. So, uh, but the other thing that you can do is uh, you could probably invest it in a family member's name, someone uh, who is not working or someone who is uh, not in the uh, higher tax bracket and uh, you would be able to make some additional funds as well. Remember, I've just taken an example of seven and a half lakh. There are people in companies 
uh, who have offers of up to 20 to 25 lakh rupees. So in that case, the, the benefit for you would be way, way higher. Now to talk about uh, the offer. Now, uh, all banks offer personal loans, of course. And uh, from my experience, I have worked with State Bank of India. I have worked with uh, ICICI Bank and I have worked with HDFC Bank. I feel HDFC Bank's products are very, very superior and they're very uh, customer friendly as well. And uh, this is the page you have to go to once you log into your net banking. Uh, you have to click on offers on the top right hand corner and you would see all your offers. And you need to look for the words get money in 10 seconds. Uh, if it's a personal loan and if you're saying 10 seconds, then there's absolutely no processing. You just have to enter a few basic details and uh, you would get the money uh, within a few seconds of clicking the submit button in the end. So when you click on get it now, you are taken to this page where it tells you your offer. Uh, it says your interest rate is 11.99% and the processing fee and uh, it also says if you need a higher loan amount click here or walk into your branch um, you could do that if you uh, if you feel that you are eligible for a bigger amount uh, in case you want to do that you can get in touch with me because I'm closely associated with the bank and I could help you get a personal loan even if you don't have the 10 second offer if you have something like uh, this uh, where, uh, uh, you know, uh, avail up to 10 lakh to ride home your dream two-wheeler, you know, uh, check your loan offer. Now, this is not a 10-second offer. Suppose your personal loan says, you have a pre-approved loan, please click here, and the words 10 seconds are not mentioned, then you, you would have to apply manually. And if you want to do that, you can always get in touch with me. I'll be very, very happy to help you in that. Remember, you need to log into net banking, click on offers, and if you have this call 10 seconds, click on get it now and uh, go to this page, enter a few details and you're good to go. Right. So that was my take on uh, why personal loans can be uh, uh, a good investment strategy. Also, uh, it's of course not something I, uh, I recommend on a regular uh, basis. Uh, if you if you, the interest rates are higher, maybe at 14, 15 percent, then it may not make sense. You might also not want to take a personal loan and invest in risky instruments. Please also uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is how uh, you do that. This is my previous video on the screen. Uh, there's a red button here. Uh, click on subscribe. And right next to that, there's a bell icon. Click on bell icon and you could uh, choose all here. So you would be uh, notified every single time I upload a new video. Thank you once again, folks, uh, for uh, tuning in and supporting me. And uh, thank you uh, for your good feedback that I've been receiving. Very kind words from uh, all of you. I'm really happy to be doing this and I'd be very happy to keep doing this for a long, long time to come. I'm Sandeep signing off. Have a great time. Bye-bye.